Greetings, I'm Vaughn, and this is my replica of the Voter, the world's first electronic speech synthesizer. This is one of three voters currently in existence, all of which are replicas. It took me over a year and a half and just a little under $200 to create my replica. However, the most difficult part by far was locating the information required to create it. The general operating principle of the voter is well known. However, many of the smaller details, like circuit designs and functions of the switches on the front panel, have been lost to time. I had to do a lot of reconstructing in order to make my replica. Before I demonstrate it to you, I'm going to tell you a little bit about its history. The voter was created by Bell Labs for the 1939 New York World's Fair. This is a picture of the exhibit building in which it was housed, and this is a picture of the exhibit itself. In the center on a podium, you can see the performance version of the voter. At the time, Bell Labs was working on the vocoder, or voice coder, a system that broke down speech, transmitted it over a long distance, and reassembled it at the other end. The vocoder saw use in the Sig Sally system, which was used in World War II to transmit speech between world leaders in a secure manner. In addition, the vocoder is used today by musicians. The voter is half of a vocoder. It's the receiving end. The transmitter is replaced by these hand controls that are operated by the player. This is a block diagram of the vocoder. As you can see, the speech begins at the speaker, is deconstructed, transmitted, and then reassembled at the other end by a device just like the voter. My voter is a replica of the practice console. The practice console was used by the operators to train for the performance at the New York World's Fair. This is a block diagram of the voter. As you can see, the speech begins at the operator's fingers, where they use the wrist bar to select between the voiced and unvoiced, or hiss and buzz, noise sources. This sound is then transmitted through a bank of filters, each of which is controlled by one of the ten keys on the keyboard. The sound is then output through a loudspeaker. Now let's take a look at how my voter is constructed and I'll show you the individual parts. Here's the voter with all of its covers removed. Let's first take a look at the keys. Each key contains a potentiometer connected to a piece of wood for the key itself by a 3D printed knob which I designed. Here's the wrist bar. Below it is a microswitch, which switches between the voiced and unvoiced noise sources. Here are the stop constant keys. These aid the operator in producing certain difficult constants like t, k, p, b, etc. These constants are difficult to produce on the voter, and therefore a special set of keys was added. The sound of the voter starts here, at the source board, where the hiss and buzz are created. As I mentioned before, the pitch of the buzz is set by a pitch pedal on the floor. This is a standard guitar expression pedal and is connected to the voter through one of these three jacks on the side. Also connected here are the power and the output. The energy from the source board is sent over to the wrist bar to be selected and sent to the keys. Each key returns a certain amount of this energy to this filter board right here. These two boards together are the filter section of the voter, and they shape the voice with the input of the keys, just like the human vocal tract. The output of this board is then sent to that output jack and amplified. The power for all of this comes from this power supply board here, which converts the 12 volt input to the voter into 12 volts, 24 volts, and negative 12 volts. Other features of the voter were added in on specific boards. For instance, added onto the source board right here is the circuit that creates the vibrato. Now that you've seen how the voter works, it's time for a little demonstration. I'm going to use the sentence, she saw me. This sentence was used in the original demonstration at the World's Fair because it's very easy to play and it can be used to demonstrate some of the voters expressive capabilities. Keep in mind that I'm not as skilled as the original operators of the voter, so this demonstration may not be a full showcase of what my replica is capable of. In this little demonstration, I'm going to try to show you the sentence itself, 
the use of the pitch pedal to vary the pitch of the speech and create expression, and the vibrato feature. Here we go. Welcome to the voter. As I explained earlier, the voter has two sound sources, the hiss and the buzz. I also have a foot pedal on the floor that can be used to change the pitch of the buzz, like so. I can use these things together to form a sentence. I can also use the foot pedal to try and add expression to the sentence. For instance, whom did she see? Did she see you or hear you? In addition, the voter has a fun little feature called the vibrato. This feature can make the vo voter sound old or sound as though it's singing, like so. All right, I hope you enjoyed that demonstration. Thanks for watching my video, and I hope it was interesting. If you have any questions for me, just leave them down in the comments and I'll do my best to respond. And as always, like and subscribe to see my future projects when I post them. Thank you.